So uh, for our audience, can you please introduce yourself and the business you represent? Yes. Um, so my name is Unito Gunle, also known as Miss Bella Bomb. Everyone calls me Bella. I own the financial literacy company called the Opulent Academy. We mm. provide credit repair, business funding, LLC formation, and then one-on-one -on -one consultations, mentorships, and coaching. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> yes. That's a lot. <laughs> um, before we even get into that, can you tell us a little bit about how you got started? Um, so I got started in the finance industry really um, through when I was at the age. It was right after I had graduated from high school and I was going to college. Gotcha. So I ended up staying in New York for school and I got accepted to my dream school, which was Georgia State. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> thanks. But my father didn't. Too. Oh, you did? No. Uh, <laughs> My father, um, he didn't want me to go go away, so I ended up staying in New York, and mm -hmm. I was like, okay, if I'm going to stay in New York, I definitely want to be doing something that, you know, can definitely add value to my life, like something that's just not ordinary. At the time, I was working at Century 21, the department store, yeah. and it was like, I knew that's not what I wanted. I mm. didn't even like it there. <laughs> like, it was a little toxic, so I was like, you know, I want to be doing something that, that really makes me reach my full potential, you mm. know? Um, I knew... From the way back when I was an entrepreneur, I was selling cookies in high school. So it was like, um, that's what really got me into the entrepreneur space. And then... Specifically for this field, how did you venture into that? So that was when I got into real estate. So I got mm -hmm. into real estate. After I had gotten into real estate, I got the opportunity presented itself for me to get into the credit field. So after I got into the credit field, I actually wanted to learn more. I was very intrigued by, you know, the power of credit, what mm -hmm. it could do for me, how it could benefit my life, my lifestyle, my family, and, you know, actually help me invest into the things and assets that I want to have in the future. So I actually took the time out to study and educate myself on credit, credit repair, um, and financial literacy. Okay. And once I did that, it was like... Took off. It, it, I took off. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> awesome. So what does it take to be successful in your field? Um, it definitely takes... Um it takes consistency it takes motivation self-motivation so you have to actually believe in yourself mm -hmm. you have to like know what your purpose and your why is so like when i was at the age of 18 i already knew i don't know how i knew but i knew i wanted to come out with a school something that could help entrepreneurs like myself like someone who is interested and wants to learn about the other the things that we don't learn in college I mean the things that we don't learn at college or high school so right. we don't really learn how to start a business we don't learn about money we don't learn about financial literacy I actually didn't learn about finances until my 12th grade year second semester <laughs> second semester is you're, the last semester you're gone yeah <laughs> exactly. you're about to go to college in a, in a class that we only meet once a week so I really didn't they didn't want you to succeed that's what I'm <laughs> saying <laughs> so I'm like I, I want to be that person that can open that door, especially for the minorities. Okay. Mm -hmm. Speaking of minorities, mm -hmm. how has your business specifically helped our community? Um, so it actually, I've been able to put over, I would say literally over about 170, 170 plus people in brand new homes, whether it's apartments, houses, um, just by a, just by fixing their credit and also <coughs> educating them on credit because mm -hmm. it's one thing to get your credit fixed you have bad credit and then okay you got bad credit you get your credit fixed you pay a company they fix it for you but because you don't have the knowledge that you need to succeed mm -hmm. you go ahead and you mess your credit up again and now you're back at square one paying somebody to fix it for you so when I do provide credit repair services it also comes with financial literacy um, courses okay how long have you been doing this for uh, two years where do you see yourself in five in five years, yeah. five years I'm gonna be what, 20, 27? <laughs> um, I would say, I definitely see that the, the works of that school, because mm. my, my company is called the Opulent Academy, so I see that academy actually being built completely, not like um, as far as a physical place, but as far as the community wise it's like, gonna be an online platform uh-huh okay and long term though i definitely want to have something a physical, physical yeah but in five years you're being realistic yeah I, I see that i see that um that online community being there being big and mm -hmm. i see more people lives being impacted and changed in a positive way i even see people that come to the company i see them being able to impact other people lives as well 
It's beautiful. Well, thank you very much for your time. <laughs> thank Ms. you. Miss Opulence, I'm going to call you. Yes. <laughs> That's actually my Airbnb name. Get out of here. Yeah, it's um, Opulence, Opulence Living. So when the guests speak to me, they call me Miss Opulence. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> well, guys, you can find me on Instagram at Miss Bella Bomb. That's M I S S B E L L A A B O M B. So two B, two A's in Bella. All right. <laughs> Miss Bella. Bomb. Yes. So we got. Oh, I don't know if it stopped already. Did no. it? <laughs> oh, okay. So so we got everything credit, everything financial literacy. You want to learn about the short term rental industry? <laughs> you can learn that too. I have a three day Airbnb boot camp coming out. And we teach you the ins and outs of running a six-figure short-term rental company. Can I get on that?